Hello and welcome back to Let's Develop Code Hunt. This is the last uh, task of sector 3, the second loop sector. Um, I'm going to solve only this one task in this episode to finish sector 3. And then I'm going to start with sector 4 in the next episode. Um, but I think that uh, as a compensation for this probably a bit shorter episode I'm going to record right now, uh, I'm going to make a special episode about uh, the differences between Java and C Sharp, uh, go over some of the loop stars and show how to implement them with C Sharp and give some possible explanations why the uh, style rating is actually so uh, strange for the Java code. But uh, before I dive into that, I will try to solve this problem. Fortunately, there's uh, actually a quite descriptive explanation what we are expected to do. It says use a while loop to count the number of digits in the number x. So we're supposed to say that uh, a number between 0 and 10 including 0, excluding 10, actually has one digit, um, 100 has three digit, 10 would have two digits. So um, what I'm going to do for that is initialize an integer result with 0 and say while x is bigger than 0, I'm going to say result plus plus and x divided by 10 and I'm going to return result so the idea is that for example 1 is bigger than 0 so I'm going to go in here uh, counting one digit then I'm going to divide that by 10 then it's 0 because of integer division it's smaller than 1 so it's going to be a uh, cut off to zero so this is no longer true and I'm going to return one in case of something bigger than 10 this division is going to be at least one so I count it a second time and then uh, jump off the loop whenever I'm finished so let's see if that solves the problem it actually solves the problem but interestingly enough, although I uh, followed the instructions, I did not get the full skill rating. So let's see if we can do uh, better, for example, with a solution that does not directly or at all use a loop. Because I could do integer to string of x and then just call length on this which is much shorter let's see if this gives us the full skill and it actually gives us the full skill uh, points this full skill rating so apparently uh, although they Microsoft tells us to use a while loop they do not check that for the solution which is a bit strange Maybe I'm going to tackle this very task in the next episode uh, on the C sharp side and see what we can do there. Because I think actually on the C sharp side, I wouldn't use a loop either to solve this problem. But, anyways, we'll see that in the next episode. Uh, this is it for now. This completes uh, sector three. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, if so, please consider subscribing to my channel to get updates on these and other episodes, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!